Hey everybody, it's me, Picking for Profit, coming to you with a sales update video. Today's sales are from the month of January 2008. I'm not going to show you everything because that would take entirely too long, but I am going to show you about 20 to 30 maybe uh, items that I think will inform you on different items that sell on eBay. So let's get started. The first thing you see right here is a phone. This is a Norton Meridian. Meridian. I think it's more of like a specialty office phone. Um, I picked this up at Savers. I paid $14.99, so I kind of had to pay up for it. But as you can see, it is new, uh, does not have a box, and I sold it for $69.99. So just take some time uh, while you're shopping. Anything new, just scan it with your phone if it's got a barcode. Take a few minutes, type it into eBay. If it doesn't, you'll be surprised what sells. So this next item right here is a pewter, just a horse, it's a brooch, you can see on the back it's signed Mally limited edition or something. Um, you can find stuff at, at least I can find stuff like this at my flea market for 50 cents a dollar. If it's signed and it's got a good subject matter, a cat, a dog, in this case a horse, make sure to pick it up, it's only a buck. And for me, I was running a sale, a 20% off sale as you can see here. I got $15.99, so I made about $10 after all the fees, um, and this is just a few dollars to ship because it's first class, so good profit on that. This I just wanted to include in the video. It's not a huge money maker, as you can see. With the sale, I only sold it for $11.99, free shipping, but I find these all the time at Goodwills for $0.50, cents. so turning $0.50 cents into $10, hey, money's money. For some reason, this month has been really, or last month, sorry, has been really crazy for recorders. I'm not sure if it has to do with people going back to school or what it is, but I sold a lot of uh, voice recorders, and this was a tabletop one. Um, I got this at Goodwill. I had these tapes laying around, so I just included them to make the picture look better, and I sold it for $24.99. I only had a few dollars uh, invested into this, so... Keep your eye out for vintage uh, voice recorders. They do sell. Right here's another one. This one is made by Sony. This is more of the portable, the micro cassettes. These sell extremely well. Very chip, cheap to ship. And I always sell them. So make sure you pick up these recorders. Now, with the money, this one sold for $25. Um, you do need to type in the model number, which is right down here. Um, usually on the front or the back. So just make sure you find that, type it in, and know what you're selling before you buy it because they range uh, greatly in price. So um, do keep your eye out for those, though. This is are always uh, one of my favorite to pick up at flea markets. They're ashtrays in the shape of tires. Goodyear's um, tires are made right down the street for me right down the street is it within like 20 to 30 minutes so there are a lot of these here in the Cleveland Akron area um, not so much in other parts of the country but you will find them out there and this is more of a modern one the tires soft uh, a lot of the older ones they're solid rubber tires but they still bring good money this one brought $24.99 and I bought this at an, uh, an auction I got about four of them for I think I paid 20 to 30 bucks. So I got about five dollars into it and I sold it for 25. I wanted to include this Zippo in here. I sell a ton of Zippos. Zippos and Polaroids are my bread and butter. Um, but I just wanted to include a couple and I included this one simply because A, it looks a little weird and B, it's got a signature on it. So when you're looking for Zippos, and you see anything with signatures on them, uh, just take a closer look because they're probably from a band or an artist, in this case an artist, uh, Carson Waterman, Waterman, however you pronounce that. Um, but this one brought in $33.99. I had $8 into this, so that's a good turnaround in my book. I can't stress enough, vintage Sony products always sell, and they always sell pretty well, especially if they're tested. It doesn't take less than five seconds to test these. You throw in some AA batteries, 
Um, if they blink and turn on, they're probably good. If you want to go the extra step and throw in a CD, you can find a CD at a thrift store for 50 cents and use it for the rest of your life. So uh, make sure you take the time to test these. You will bring a lot more money. Um, I was looking for a quick sale here, and I still got $29.99 free shipping. I had $3 in this, and this came from Goodwill. So keep your eye out when you're at Goodwill and other thrift stores. Sony CD players, voice recorders, anything Sony sells. Here's another one, another Zippo. I just wanted to include it in this video because A, Kiss Anything sells really well. And again, I just wanted to stress the fact that this clearly has some limited edition printing on the side as well as the signature and great subject matter. So even if you don't know anything about Zippos, um, you should know that this is going to bring more than $8. So I paid $8 for this and it sold for $35. I've had this seat right here for a long time. I actually had a few of them. I think I paid like 15 bucks for these. Um, this one was the worst of the condition and it's black. If you find these in brown and they're in pretty good condition, they can bring about 100 bucks. Um, this one... It did sell when I was running a 31% off sale, and it sold for $55. So um, not a huge money maker on that one, but I still made 20 to 30 bucks, so I'm happy. I love my Polaroids, and I only included a couple in this video. Um, these are more specialty models. This is an SX70 Time Zero with autofocus. So. Um, Honestly, the classics, they're brown with silver, I think bring the most money, at least in my opinion. Um, but the autofocus is a great one too. I paid, I think, 40 bucks for this. So not a huge money maker because I did sell it for uh, 97 and some change. So it was still made me about 40 bucks. I'm happy with it, but keep your eye out for uh, these folding Polaroids. A lot of the time you'll find them like this, folded up. And sometimes the people selling them won't even know how to open them. Don't open them in front of them. Every time I've opened them in front of people, they're like, wow, that's cool. And the price probably goes up. So uh, just know that they usually look like this. And they open up to look like that. And they're hot. They're coming back. And uh, you can buy film for these. So a lot of the hipsters and photographers out there are looking for them. This I included because it's a pencil sharpener. A lot of people wouldn't think pencil sharpeners sell well, but if you find the right ones, they do. I paid maybe two bucks for this at a thrift store. It is Panasonic. You do want to keep out, keep your eye out for this auto stop right here. Um, so I turned a couple dollars into twenty-five free shipping. Probably made about fifteen dollars or so. Um, but keep your eye out for vintage on and off automatic pencil sharpeners. This was actually surprising to me. I had these, I bought these with one of those um, SX70, the folding cameras I just showed you. I paid $20 for a different one, not the one I just showed you, but a white one, it was broken. Um, I got 60 bucks for that, I believe, for the broken camera. And then I threw these four these are the flashes that plug in on the top. You can see right down in this bottom corner um, a picture of how it would go on top of your camera. These are obviously are expired. They probably don't work. I do not know why they sell so well, but I ended up getting $30, and I was priced pretty low. There was other people um, selling them for a bit higher, and they sold, I think, the first, maybe the second day I put them on. So you can get these at flea markets, garage sales, pretty much anywhere you see them. For less than a buck so keep your eye out for the they're called flash bars um, the four cameras and they bring good money I got 30 bucks so that paid for the camera and everything else that was with it so that was a good deal here is another SX70 I paid I believe 20 maybe $25 for this one um, it does have some cracking on the leather, which is very common, you can buy kits for these for like 20 bucks on eBay with brand new leathers, which whoever bought this um, is probably going to do. And I sold this one for $64.99. When you buy these cameras, you'll see right down on the front, 
This one is a Polaroid SX70 Model 3. The different models do bring different money, so just make sure to take your time, look them up, make sure it's the same exact camera. Because if this was an original with the silver and brown, um, not any model, just Polaroid SX70, you'd get about 100 to 120 bucks. At least in my experience, that's what I get. Uh, this one was working, fully tested. It sold for a fraction of that price, $65. Um, I don't know why, just not as sought after. This was really cool. Uh, I had this sitting around my house for a while. Um, it's just a mannequin head made in made out of fiberglass, probably in the 40s, the 50s, somewhere around there, I'm thinking. This, I was told, came out of a local stadium here. Um, one of my buddies at the flea market told me I should ask about 150 to 200 bucks. So I was going for uh, the lower end. I priced that 150 and it sold. I could not believe it. I paid $5 for, I got two of them. $5 for the pair, and I sold this one for $150, and I just sold one the other day for, I believe, $120. So, um, great deal on those. So, keep your eye out for anything. I mean, something like this, you just have to know, A, it looks really cool, B, it's old, and it just has that look. So, something like this, there's not really much research you can do, um, but just know cool and go with your gut sometimes. I wanted to include this Zippo because it is just a brass Zippo. You probably get 15 bucks for this. It's nothing special. Um, but sometimes with these gift boxes and the whole kits, like the fluid is completely empty. People just want it for a display. I had tons of people email me about just selling the box. I didn't want to do that because I'd get about 10 bucks for the box. Um, so I just left it the way it was. I ended up getting $25. And again, I only had $8 into this. Here's something totally out of my wheelhouse, not a typical thing you would see on Picking for Profits uh, YouTube videos, but this is some age-defying night cream. I purchased this at Goodwill. Again, it's just one of those things you look at and you know that they probably sell this stuff for $50 to $100 somewhere. So I took the time, typed it into eBay, realized they did bring a lot of money. I priced mine pretty low. I got $34.99 and it sold quick, I believe in less than one day. This was really cool. I wasn't really too keen on selling it, but it's just been sitting on my desk. Um, it's just a little boy with a dog, and it's in this great vintage frame. Super cute. Just a few inches in size. Let's see if I have a picture with the size. Well, I don't. Anyways, it's just uh, it was probably like three inches or so, and I got 30 bucks for it. I probably have less than a dollar or two. Um, it's just really cool. <clears throat> Here is an Epson ink cartridge pack. I paid a dollar ninety nine for this at Goodwill, um, and I sold it for twenty two ninety nine. So make sure with these toners, they don't really expire. They have a use best buy date, but that doesn't mean they're expired. Um, they bring good money, so. I turned two dollars into twenty two. Up, oh, just sold something on eBay. Anyways, uh, make sure to pick up these toners. This one I wanted to include in here. A, uh, those light bars I sold go right on top of the camera with that little black piece. Let's see if there's a better picture. You can see right there, oops, in the slot on the top that's where they would go in but I included this model in the video because this is one of the best models I sell uh, besides the folding cameras if they're tested which they're very easy to test um, you just use a film pack the batteries in the film pack and if it cycles it works I got thirty five ninety nine and I pay anywhere from five uh, up to eight dollars for these so I make about fifteen bucks per camera This was a really cool one. You guys might actually find these if you do flea markets. They're only about yay big, maybe an inch, I think. Yeah, the size of a nickel. Um, they're a miniature spark plug. They're ceramic, really detailed. They're made by Champion, which makes spark plugs. Um, 
I paid $2 for this at the flea market and I sold it for $14.99 free shipping. It sold in less than a day and now I'm on the lookout for a huge lot of these. So uh, you should keep your eye on, uh, look out. You should keep on the lookout for those as well. Zippo does make more things than just lighters. So make sure if you see like a pocket knife or a tape measure, especially when they don't have any engravings on the front, as far as someone's name, uh, you pick those up. You can usually get these for a few bucks. And I sold mine for 20 so quick cash on that. These I always include a couple in my videos. Um, I have about 30 more I need to sell. I just cannot list them fast enough because they're boring to list. But they're just vintage movie reels. I have less than a dollar into these. And I sell them for $9.99 with $2.99 shipping. And I always sell a couple, so uh, this one I got like $13 and some change, or $12 and some change. Um, there's They ship media mail, so they're only a few dollars for shipping. So if I have a dollar into them and I spend $4 on shipping and fees, I'm still making like three or four bucks, and I have a ton to get rid of. I included this Zippo just to show you that Again, it's all about subject matter. You can see their original price sticker, $22.95. But it is military. It is Air Force. This is an older Zippo. And I got $24.99. So keep your eye out. Subject matter on Zippos is key, uh, as well as the date on the bottom. And again, you can check out what the date codes are by going to Zippo.com. And uh, if it's got an X and an I or three dashes or no date, Everything's explained on Zippo.com. This I purchased just for a couple bucks. It was very light. I buy all my silver from a buddy. Not all of it, the majority of it from a buddy, depending on weight. So I only had a couple bucks into this. It's a perfume bottle. It opens up just like that. It does have some dents, um, but it's very cool. And I sold it for 20 bucks, got positive feedback. Uh, the woman that bought it loved it, so we're all happy there. This was pretty cool. I've had this for on eBay for almost a year now. No bites. I've had a few offers. I've turned them all down. I eventually lowered the price, and it got down to $22.99. I don't even remember what I paid for this, but I would never pay more than a couple bucks for something like this. So um, we ended up getting $23 free shipping. It did uh, probably ship first class, so maybe $4 shipping in it. Um, so probably 10 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks profit. Again, here's another vintage Sony. This one is much older. Um, I tried a red background, did something a little different. Doesn't seem to affect the sales much. I prefer white. It's easier to color correct. It's easier to make look really nice so I stick with white for the most time um, but I ended up getting 25 bucks for this and I purchased this at the flea market I believe for a few bucks so um, again keep your eye out for Sony keep your eye out for vintage electronics in general and especially these micro recorders okay so these right here have a little story I was at an auction they had about I don't know a hundred boxes of these I offered the auctioneer um, just on the side if he wanted to sell them all he said yeah think about it five minutes later he went up and sold a bunch of them I think like 40 of them to everyone for five dollars a box uh, kind of upsetting since he told me he would sell me them all but it's his business he can do what he wants I ended up buying the majority or the remaining amount which was I think 66 boxes and I paid less than two dollars a box I paid a hundred bucks for uh, 66 boxes whatever that breaks down and I've only sold uh, two boxes one Snickers and one M&M and I'm getting well, on sale I got 20 bucks so um, a few more boxes and I'll be in the profit and I got plenty more where those came from so if you're watching this video and you want one I'll sell you a box for 10 bucks just uh, leave me a message or a comment in the comment box below This, I actually photographed a house, which is what I do uh, for a living, and I seen this in their backyard. So I charge uh, $150 for a house. I offered um, 
to trade this bell for the cost of doing the houses. I thought the bell would be worth a little more than it was, but I ended up selling it for $199, and you can see it says free local pickup. I had someone email me um, saying they wanted me to ship it. I actually had several people, but the person um, that I ended up reaching out to that seemed the most serious lived all the way in California. It cost me $260, no, $160 uh, to get this packed and shipped, but it was worth it. Um, I made 50 bucks more than if I would have shot the house, and I charged, uh, I made like $5 extra on shipping, so this is a huge, large cast iron bell. Uh, it weighed, the bell weighed 54 pounds, and the, I forget what this was, 22 pounds or something. It came out to 77 pounds, um, and it's about 20 inches by 20 inches, by I think 24, 25 inches tall. So extremely large, but hey, it sold. I made some money. So keep your eye out for big items. Don't be scared. This is just another uh, example of uh, movie reels that sell. Again, you've seen one that I took crappy pictures on my cell phone. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So pictures aren't everything. Um, I do like having nice pictures just because it represents my brand well. But uh, at the end of the day, if someone wants something and it's unique, pictures aren't going to deter them. Here's a nice Zippo. I just included this because it was complete in the kit. Anytime you can get something in the original tin, original box, it, you're going to get more. So. Um, with that said, I ended up selling this, I believe it's called a Sunray. Yeah, Sunray on black ice. Uh, $24.99. Again, I had $8 into it, so I'm happy with that. So these film packs right here are expired. They expired maybe two years ago. They still sell. So if you find any Polaroid film that is expired, artists still use them. It gives it a cool look. Even if the film's destroyed, you can still use them as a test pack. So make sure to never throw away old film. Old film does sell. So just keep keep hoarding it when you get it. Put together a huge lot, and it will sell, and you'll be surprised how much you get. So I priced these extremely low. Um, I actually got these when I purchased the autofocus that I showed you in the beginning of the video for 60 bucks or 40 bucks, whatever I paid for it. Um, these were included with that. So I ended up selling these for 30 bucks plus five dollars shipping. This is really cool. I'm not into selling kitchen appliances very often, but I was in Savers. This caught my eye, and I just knew automatically uh, that people were going to like it. So this one did have some damage. It was missing one of the little rubber feet. This one only had three. It's supposed to have four. Um, it was extremely heavy. Had some cracking. But, I mean, look at it. If you know vintage, uh you will just know that this is going to bring some good money. I plugged it in at Savers. It seemed to work. I came home, cleaned it, uh, listed it. And I had someone, this was priced at I think like, I don't know, all the way up to 80 bucks at one point. Each week I lowered it maybe 10 bucks. It was at like $50. So I ended up haggling back and forth with the lady. Um, I lowered the price for her. She offered me 40 bucks uh, plus shipping. So we ended up getting 50 bucks for this. Very happy. I did spend, I believe, $14.99 on this. So I did pay up for it, but I made about $20 to $30. Bucks. This I've had for a long time. I got it at an auction. I don't even know, maybe 5 bucks I have into it. It's destroyed. It's actually very destroyed. Um, but there are good usable parts on it, and it looks cool on your shelf. So I'm not sure if they purchased it. Uh, just as decoration or if they're going to use parts off of it. But I sold it for $20 and $15 shipping. So we got $35 out of this. So again, I probably made $20, $25. Bucks. Keep your eye out for old stuff like this. Old um, video. This is a movie camera. Stuff like this sells. Again, here's a Sony... Uh, CD player, nothing special that you would think. $2.99, I believe, at Goodwill. Maybe $3.99. Uh, 
Um, and it sold for $22.99. So, Sony sells. This is cool. This is a candle mold. So, you might see these and not know what they are. They're candle molds. You pour the wax uh, through the top, and it sits just like that as they cool. The wick comes through the bottom, and I ended up getting $24.99 plus $7.25 shipping. Mine was priced pretty low. These sell all the way up into about $30, $35 for the same exact model. Um, I'm all about the quick sale, so I priced mine a little low, and it sold. This was really cool. I purchased this at a garage sale. They wanted three bucks. I offered them a dollar. She actually had to get on the phone, call her friend, describe what it was, and ask if she would take a dollar. Um, I felt bad. I couldn't find any markings on it, but when I got it home, I did search a little closer, and you can see it says 14 karat right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it was 14 karat gold with amethyst. Super pretty. Um, I ended up getting $60 for this, so turning a dollar into $60, that's what this game's all about, and if uh, you can find more of those, you'll be doing great. These are really cool. I purchased these. I don't remember where. Um, I'm sure just for a few bucks. I've had a few pairs before. They always sell pretty well. Um, they're just miniature. I think they're just like a souvenir piece, but people call them salesman samples. Um, I sold it for $25, so... Very cool. And make sure to check out keywords. Miniature, salesman sample, leather, boxing, brown. Pretty much everything I could think about besides saying Mayweather or uh, Pacquiao, it was in there. So uh, keywords are important. These I actually uh, did a poll on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you check it out. It's the same name as here, Pickin number four profit. I always update on what I'm doing as far as reselling goes, and I picked these up at Goodwill. I did a poll on my phone asking people, should I buy them, should I leave them? About 85% of people said, put them back, don't spend $4 on them. Well, I went against what everyone said. I purchased them uh, for $4. They sold in just a couple days for 20 bucks. and believe it or not, this was just under a uh, first class rate. They were 15 ounces, so I think it was like 4 bucks to ship four bucks into them, a few bucks into fees. I made about five to ten bucks. Um, I'm okay with that. Here's a Zippo case. I actually purchased a bunch of Zippos uh, months back. Uh, I paid I know, like 250 for, I forget how many Zippos. It broke down to being eight dollars per Zippo. Um, and then this case it broke down to being like 40 or 50 bucks. So I ended up putting this on eBay. I got $100 for it, $30 to ship, and it was pretty easy to ship. I got two 24, two 18 by 18 by 24 inch boxes, sandwiched them together, and this was about 26 to 27 inches tall. Bubble wrapped it, packed it with paper. Um, hopefully it gets there uh, without any damage. But I made about 50 to 60 bucks profit on this, so very happy with that. This I wanted to include because you always see me doing the pop-up uh, Polaroids, but these Spectras, they actually sell pretty well, um, which I wasn't aware of. I don't sell very many Spectras because that's not what I collect, but I'm going to definitely pick them up anytime I can get them for about 5 to $10 because they do sell for about 30 to 40 bucks. This one I took a pretty low uh, price point. I uh, listed it for $27.99, and it sold within a couple days. So um, I actually just sold another one today, a Spectra, which will be in next month's video. Uh, so stay tuned and see that. But um, Polaroid Spectras, they take different film. So if you only have one pack of film, that might be a problem. But uh, check out my eBay you can see it right here, Josh Moss Photo. 2008. I do sell packs of film that I convert that you can put batteries in. Um, so if you sell a lot of Polaroids, make sure you can uh, check out my YouTube or my eBay, and you can buy test packs. So I think I have them priced at $17 free shipping. Definitely worth the investment. And um, yeah, so keep your eye out for even the pull any basically anything Polaroid. This is cool because it's just engraved. 
nothing too special. You can see on the bottom, I think it says 2003. Yeah, 2003. And it's still sold for $30. Um, not sure why, probably just because it's cool. So, um, again, Zippos, if it's cool, it sells. This I wanted to include because I, like I said, I buy all my silver by the weight. Um, this was just like a gram, I, very, very light. And so I have maybe a dollar, maybe two dollars max. And it sold for $9.99. So that was pretty cool. And anything with moving parts, like this top of the Stein flips open. If it's sterling silver and they have moving parts, always sells, trust me. Um, and again, Danecraft is a great uh, brand. So if you see anything silver like this, sterling silver, it's small, it's cheap, pick it up. And this is the last thing that I'm going to show you. It's just a unicorn, uh, just the bust, I guess, the head of a unicorn. I don't, it wasn't very heavy. It definitely went first class. It was about yay big. Unicorns, in my opinion, always seem to sell well. So keep your eye out for unicorns. Um, but pretty much anything brass, dogs, cats, elephants, brass figurines sell. So keep your eye out for brass. You can always get it cheap. And um, I bought a whole flat of this at an auction for like, I don't know, five or ten dollars. So I literally have less than a dollar into this. And it sold during a sale. I got $15.99 free shipping. So again, I probably only made seven to eight bucks, but I'm okay with that. And that's everything that I wanted to show for this month or for the month of January. Hopefully you guys seen a few items in here. Um, that you're not used to seeing on everyone else's videos. Hopefully you can find uh, similar items that I showed you and make some uh, money doing so. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave me a comment in the box below if you did or if there's anything you want to see different. Um, besides that, that's all. Keep picking, keep making that money, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.